rest of my fellow collectors, Lace Reviews here, and today we're going over some Halloween-esque Funko Pops, and I'm really excited for these, because I'm doing this sort of scary October, uh, mixed with my regular reviews. And today, we're going over four Funko Pops that are very Halloween-related, so let's get right to that. Also, I would like to thank, thank you for the recent 100 subscribers, I really appreciate it. Check out uh, last Saturday's video, um, you're going to love that, and you're going to see me in pain through a uh, habanero hot sauce. So, let's get right to the review, shall we? So, first up we have number one, Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. One of my favorite movies of all time. I view B-movies, like campy movies and like B-movies uh, that are like in the 80s and 90s as like the best, especially when they're low budget, sort of, when they first start out, the best horror movies there are. I, uh, I'm really excited for this line. So, let's get right to the unboxing, shall we? I just had to clarify because when I, when I did the review on my Grady Twins, The Shining, when I uh, said it was a B movie, they said, the B movie, are you serious? That was a great movie. I'm like, dude, those are my favorite videos. <laughs> I had to qu uh, qu uh, quantify in the comments below. So, now this one is very cool. It's not a bobblehead and it does not come with a base. The head does not move. So, there we have that one, but it looks flipping awesome. Now he's got so many, he's got a lot of details, although... I do know that uh, this line is from an older Funko Pop, so maybe you'll we'll see like a, a difference in them. So I'm not sure, but he looks absolutely spectacular. He looks scary, and how I put this adorable at the same time? How does that work with Jason? I don't know, but he looks absolutely amazing. And he's got no paint feet, as, uh, paint fade as far as I can see. He looks absolutely amazing. He's got some blood on his, on his famous machete. It's killing time, Jason. We gotta get those kids at the camp. Camp Crystal Lake. Alright, so this one is definitely a 10 out of 10. I like this one a lot. As I've said that probably before in this video, but I can never remember what I say. So let's get to the next one, shall we? So this one we have The Nightmare on Elm Street, number 2, Freddy Krueger. So this one is also very cool. Now I got this, uh, four, uh, actually three of them I got on Amazon, the other one I got on Amazon as well. So, this one, this one, and the next one were all part of a three pack that I was very happy to get all at the same time. And they came like almost a week earlier than they were expected to, so that was flipping awesome, so props to Amazon. So, let's get right to the unboxing, shall we, and the review. Ah! So, here we have Mr. Freddy, the Mr. Nightmare. He looks absolutely amazing. Although, I feel like they could have done a darker tone on his skin, but it looks absolutely amazing still. So, I'm not disappointed on that. There is no paint fade. He's got a hole in his hat. Uh, the burn marks. He's got some excellent scar tissue going on. And he's also pretty stable. With his hat, you kind of think he'd be a little bit top-heavy, but... He's pretty good, so the detail on the glove is nice. I mean, it's not the best, but it is nice. It is a Funko Pop. It's not like it's going to be the most detailed thing in the world. It's not going to be like one of my sideshow pieces, so I am happy on this one. So it's a definite 10 out of 10 for me. I'm really happy that I got this one. So let me know if you've got any of these in the comments down below. I'd love to chat with you guys. So next up, we have number three, Michael Myers from the Halloween series. Now, surprisingly enough, this is literally the first horror movie that I ever saw. And I probably saw it way too young. Now, this what, wasn't the scariest movie. The scariest movie that I ever saw when I was really young that I shouldn't have was the Leprechaun movies. And I have no idea why. I look back on it now and I'm like, it still scares the crap out of me. It is, to me, the most horrifying movie. And I have no idea why. I cannot pinpoint a reason why, but... Enough of the chit-chat, let's get back to this unboxing, shall we? Now, there is a bit more damage on this box than there are on the rest. I don't know why, I couldn't tell you. But that's the risk you uh, take when you order Funko Pops from online. And people don't understand that there are value in them. But, whatever. He's so funny looking. Why is his mask so dark? It's not even white. On the picture, it's white. His mask isn't even white. I don't know what's that. I hope this wasn't a fake. 
I hope none of these are fake. Did I get any fake Funko Pop? How do you tell when a Funko Pop is fake? I should probably look that up, especially when I'm going to start buying these older ones online. I don't know if these fake ones are fake or not. I can't tell you. Although they do have like the copyright thing on them. So I don't know. I'm going to assume all that this is real. So he still looks very cool. Not accurate to the picture though. His mask is of white. On the box it's white. So I wonder if this is like a chase variant. I don't know. I have no idea. But I still like it. I would get this one a 9 out of 10 just because I'm not too sure on the mask. But on the other hand, it is still very, very cool. So I'm still happy that I bought it. So, let's get back to the final unboxing, which has does has some damage to the box as well. Not too bad, though. This one is from Child's Play 2, number 56, Chucky. Now, I couldn't find one from the first uh, Chucky, but that's okay. I liked all these movies. Although, I didn't really like uh, the new one. It wasn't really that interesting to me, to be completely honest. Although, I did think that Mark Hamill's voice as uh, Chucky was pretty cool, but... Besides that, I just didn't find it that interesting. I, I bet there are loads of people who disagree with me, but sorry, just my opinion. So, let's get to the unboxing of this one. Woohoo! Good guys. <laughs> his, his outfit still sounds in it. It's so funny. Alright, so, here is. Chucky from Child's Play 2 with his classic, classic stance with his butcher knife out that wouldn't look too bad with Michael Myers' butcher knife. It's very cool. Let's get some close up. Man, this suit is just ridiculous. I mean, I know he is a child's so toy, and, and it is meant to be ridiculous, but it's just so ridiculous. It's funny. You think with how Chucky is, he'd be like, I want to change my clothes. I need to get some better clothes. But, whatever. It's very cool looking. Definite 10 out of 10 in my book. Although, if they added some blood to the knife, and maybe added some black, it, it would have been uh, a higher 10 out of 10. It's still a 10 out of 10, but, you know what I'm saying. So I'm just nitpicking at this point. But, yeah, 10 out of 10. Glad I got it. Um, and this, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you've got any of these. What were your thoughts on them? Heck, what are your favorite horror movies? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, also, we're on the road to 500 subscribers, so if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, comment down below, share this with your friends, and as always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day, and peace out.